Welcome to the Narrowboat that James built. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Well, the uh, weather out here has just been absolutely dreadful. It's been awful everywhere in the UK at the moment. So um, it's just continuing to do stuff on the inside, to be honest. I don't dare attempt anything outside because it doesn't really stop raining for more than 10 minutes at the moment. Um, but really, the plan is to carry on with the undergunnel lights. Um, so really want to continue that. Last time you saw them, they'd kind of gone up to the dinette. Um, the plan was to, uh, in areas like the dinette and bits of the bathroom and bits of the bedroom and the fireplace, was not to run the lights, was just to run cables. But I've decided not to do that, even though I bought the connectors and bought a new soldering iron, um, because well, it's more hassle than it's worth, to be honest. Um, the lights aren't going to they're not going to look ridiculous because you're not going to be able to see them. So, um, and it's just creating a connection and therefore a join, which is therefore a point of weakness. So I'm just going to run them all the way through. I've got enough to do the whole boat. So that's what the plan is. So last time you saw this, the um, undergunnel lights have basically gone up to this point here, which is the dinette. Um, this is where it kind of currently ends. And I was going to do connectors to run it behind the dinette. Um, so I didn't have lights there. I was just going to um, run the uh, run to some cable there. But for a couple of reasons, I've decided not to do that. I'm just going to run the lights all the way through this bulkhead here into the bathroom. Um, it comes in through the kind of the bit behind the shower. Just see if I can kind of get you in there. Yeah, it comes through that little gap there where you can see the light. And it's going to go on that conduit tray. And it's only going to really illuminate kind of this small part of the bathroom there. Just along there is where the lights are going to be. And into the bedroom, the lights pass through the bulkhead into this area here. There's going to be lights there now. So I might as well make use of that and illuminate this kind of shelf and area there. So, um, yeah, I'll kind of perspex or glass or something like that. We'll do that bit. And then they'll continue through the conduit tray into the bow. Um, so conduit tray is laid all the way down there. And then um, the nav lights and tunnel lights and other bits and pieces will go into that area. Yeah, the nav lights just coming down there. So I'm now connecting the second strip of lights to the first strip of lights. And they're going to go all the way through the bathroom into the bedroom up to the bow observation area um, and these are really easy they're just two arrows on them showing how to connect them in place so that's done so here's the undergunnel lights coming through from the toilet or into the bathroom shall I say coming from you can't really see it at all and then there's a little bit poking through the bottom of the cupboard there in the bedroom. Well, that's looking pretty cool. I now realize that piece of trim is missing or a bit of wool. Rather annoying. Otherwise, it's a nice band of light all the way down. Well, this is what she's looking like with the uh, mauve or whatever colour it is. But it's um, yeah, it's looking good. Happy with how it's coming out. I'm worried about the voltage drop, not necessarily in this area here because that's near the power source and it's all pretty vibrant. But as it's going further around to the world's the bow, it is uh, dimming ever so slightly. So I might have to put two power sources on there. But um, yeah, it's looking good. I'm going to uh, call it a day now. I've got to go back to London and I'll be back here tomorrow. Well, I'm back at the boat. It's Wednesday afternoon. Um, my last meeting was in Milton Keynes, so... It's kind of not far from here. Um, where one of my colleagues actually had a meeting in North Kilworth today. So that's a small world. Um, 
and I was hoping to finish the undergun or lighting um, this afternoon. But I've just got here and Liz, who's on a boat up there, is leaving North Kilworth tonight. So she's having like a farewell gig and uh, she's asked me over there with the guitar and it's a really nice sunny afternoon. So it's gonna be a well nice evening over there, but I was planning on doing some work here at the boat and then driving back to London. Um, and that might, well, those plans might go awry now, but we'll see. But yeah, I've got to crack on with those undergunnel lights. I've kind of gone all the way up to um, the, well, the bathroom basically. So I just want to continue that run all the way down to the end now, and then that should be done. So, um, yeah, and then work out a way of wiring it up so that when I turn any lights on, it doesn't change the bloody colour. That'll be a bonus. All right, let's crack on. So I've, I've taken this panel off here so I can feed the cable through and I've done it, I've attached it onto the side here. So I'm hoping if I pull this one gently, it'll bring the end of the lights with it. Oh yes, there we go. Okay. It does mean obviously there is gonna be lights behind the fireplace where no one's going to benefit from it, but such is life. Rather that than have a potential weakness in a join. Well, I've now laid the lights all the way throughout the boat. And there is a bit of voltage drop on that side. Certain colours brings it up more. Less so on this colour, but if I put it on red it's quite dark under there compared to under there um, the other thing i've got is in the galley it reflects off the work surface and then some colors are different on different sides so i think i could put white on yes yeah, white over here and then it looks a very different color over there well, I can make my piece with that. Oh, I probably won't really have it on white, I wouldn't have thought. That's the, uh, that's the look. If you turn it right down, and then when you've got the lights on, it's got a nice kind of glow to it. It will do once the walls are painted. So yeah, happy with that. Right, I'm gonna drive back to London. Well, I'm happy with how the lights have gone in. Um, they're looking really good. Um, on the, uh, well, if you like colored lights, that is, if you don't, obviously they look horrific. Um, the red definitely gives it um, the wrong impression, uh, like many of you have commented. But like that mauve or green or whatever seems to work quite well. There's definitely voltage drop on the port side. Um, so I'm going to, unless someone says I shouldn't, my plan is just to put another power source in at the galley end of that and disconnect the middle part underneath the bow, basically. So I've just got two strips down both sides, independent of one another, um, and hopefully they'll just both work on the same remote control. Um, that would be the plan, but I'm hoping that will kind of um, reduce the voltage drop um, kind of towards the fireplace and the galley um, is certainly dim. And obviously that's where... It's going to be quite noticeable. If the voltage drop was just in the bathroom or something, it wouldn't be that much of a problem, but it's pretty noticeable there. So certainly different colours react differently anyway. So that would be the plan. Um, but it's Friday now, so it's the end of the working week. Um, I've had a good week, kind of a lot of toing and froing and stuff, but it's been a decent week at work, so that's good. Um, and um, I'm without kids this weekend, so um, happy days. I'll be at the boat uh, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, um, and... Um, Hopefully we're going to crack on with quite a lot. The weather over here in the UK is just dreadful. So I'm not going to be able to do much outside at all. But um, I think it's going to start cheering up over here kind of next week or something like that. Um, but at the moment, yeah, it's all indoor stuff. 
So um, that'll be the plan. Get up there, well, this afternoon really, this evening, and uh, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.